I'm not sure if most people really realize how lucky we are here in Little Rock and Central Arkansas to have the Museum of Discovery. My son, he's 11 years old. I've been taking him there since he was old enough to understand or to be able to actually interact with, with the exhibits at the Museum of Discovery. It's, it's just amazing the work they do. Um, I was also very fortunate for three years to be a mentor for the museum's Girls in STEM program um, with, with Shannon Jones. And just to see those young girls uh, be inter hands-on, interactive with engineering, um, with activities that are engineering related to get them to start thinking you know, engineering wise, thinking outside the box was, was truly remarkable. We've always supported the Museum of Discovery. And I think for multiple reasons, number one, uh, if you don't start kids early uh, in the STEM awareness, they're not gonna get there later. And so the Museum of Discovery is not for older people like me to go down there and discover. It's for the young kids to do that. So. It's in our best interest to have things like that. But on the second thing is that all great communities, all great cities, they have to have something like the Museum of Discovery. If they don't, they're, they're just lacking. And uh, they're gonna lose students to other places in the United States that have those type of things. Uh, it's a quality of life issue at the same time, in my opinion. I think the Museum of Discovery is important, not just in exposing children to STEM and to possible career options, but also for parents to be able to see what kind of things interest and engage their children so that as they help steer their kids, you know, towards career path and toward, toward, towards learning plans, um, they can provide some direction. I think the museum finds a way to make science fun. And sometimes our schools are good at that, but I think the museum just gives us another perspective. And so if you make it fun, people are more interested in it. And, and children, for nothing else, just go there for the experience. And I think the more you can create those fun, exciting, different experiences for children, the more opportunities open up for them as they go through school and education and as they grow up and decide what are they going to do in their career paths and in their life paths and their journeys. You know, curiosity is such a big part of, you know, who I am. And then, you know, I've always been a curious child. I think my parents would have said, um, you know, always asking questions. And so I think that if you can build that up in children or bring that out, I mean, and then to get them excited about something that's, you know, not necessarily, you know, a game or a television, you know, we want them to, to get excited of things that they touch and feel, which is really one of the best parts of, about the Museum of Discovery is because, you know, it's very interactive. And so the children are not bored and neither are the adults. You know, I first learned about the Museum of Discovery when they moved to the building where they are now. And in our work at Central Arkansas Water and what we're doing there, we saw that there was this um, connection between what they were teaching and what we needed people to get excited about. And so the first event we had actually was, we had an employee event and told all the employees they could bring all their kids. And you just saw this incredible joy that the kids had playing these games or running to mom or dad who was talking to a coworker and saying, come here, come here, you got to see this. Look what I'm doing. This is really cool. And right then we knew that we had a partnership that could grow and build and that we could support. I think it's super important for our city. Uh, one of the things is um, bringing kids in, in a playful atmosphere to learn, <laughs> you know, um, and to, to get their hands into something that excites them. And it could be something, it could be a genesis to some future that they have. You know, uh, I could just see them playing with uh, or interacting with something there and they become a, this renowned scientist, you know, or astronaut, <laughs> you know, or, you know, the next, you know, Steve Jobs or something. But, you know, there's always a genesis when it comes to your curiosity. And if you, are exposed to it in an early age and you have your hands on it and then it triggers something in your head in the future. I mean, that is magic. We're very fortunate to have Museum Discovery in our community. Uh, it's, again, to get back to the kind of curiosity point I was talking about, uh, that doesn't 
you know, we have to have avenues to kind of foster that and to kind of bring that into people's lives. And it starts when you're young, you know, and uh, that's what the museum does. It kind of sparks the curiosity and the in children's minds. I remember going as a youngster, if you will, <laughs> in my younger days. And just that it was like, I, I was in awe of when I, I went in all the different um, opportunities to test things and, and just to spark creativity and like your imagination is going wild when you're in that. And so for the Museum of Discovery to be kind of that foundational um, starting place, if you will, for kids that may or may not have gotten that exposure. I think that it's a wonderful opportunity. Um, the things that they're doing going into Delta regions with their summer programs. You know, um, I'm from Northeast Arkansas and they took a summer program to that area. And I just think that that is something um, that is going to spark. You know, it's gonna ignite some things in children who may or may not have an opportunity to have um, exposure to that. The smartest people I know can take something, they can read it, then they can do it physically as well as mentally. And when you look at what happens at the Museum of Discovery, that encompasses every bit of it. And when I'm taking my kids there, when they're three, they're four, they're five years old, that's the opportunity that they get that nobody else gets to see. So having the Museum of Discovery in Little Rock not only helps tourism, but it helps the educational aspect of every kid in central Arkansas and the surrounding counties.